your watches and think they're late. No, we're not late, my friends. We're waiting for the last group that is just now crossed Woo! the street. Hello and welcome to the 46th annual Texas Rally for Life. My name is Terry Williams and I'm your MC today for today's rally. Now, as a member of Texas Alliance for Life's public policy team and a frequent visitor to our beautiful state capitol, I know you will agree with me in saying what an honor it is to gather here as a diverse group of people from all across our great state who are unified together around the cause of protecting life. Sadly, all of us were sobered and, and shocked and worried and wondered um, how anyone could do what they did in regards to what happened in New York State when New York State legal abortion up to birth this week. You would agree with me right though that we have some work to do in our nation's capital to protect life. As well as in, even in our great state of Texas is, there is more that we can do to protect innocent lives. As a consultant and a trainer for CareNet National, an affiliate organization that serves over 1,200 pregnancy centers across the United States, I want to share with you just a little bit of information about what we are doing on the home front in Texas to protect life. In 2017 and early 2018, these pregnancy centers provided clients making difficult pregnancy decisions 43,356 free pregnancy tests. They also provided them over 21,000 free ultrasounds. Many of these ultrasounds machines were provided by our Knights of Columbus, who, by the way, just wait because it gets better. The Knights of Columbus just provided their 1,000th ultrasound machine to a pregnancy resource center in the United States. Thank you. But I want to also thank you. You have you who have traveled from near and far. Thank you for providing your voices and your prayers, your petitions and your gifts, and continued efforts to speak up for life. You are making a difference. You are saving lives. Thank you. So speaking of traveling, we want to find out where you're from. So, in Texas. How many of you are from South Texas? Give us a shout. Central Texas, the Panhandle, Long, you own it, there you go, I'll let you cheer again, Panhandle, there you go, right there, how about East Texas, and way up there in West Texas, And again, we are grateful for um, the talented Levi to have come and shared music with us, and they're going to be singing later too, so I know you're going to want to stay in worship. We have planned quite an impressive lineup for you today, but before I um, begin to introduce all of our speakers, um, would you please do something for me? Now, I do a lot of speaking events, and this is the very first time that I have been told to not tell you to put your phones away. So get them out. Everybody, get your phones out because we want you to share on social media, whichever one you want to share on, your experience. And we want you to use a, uh, the hashtag, hashtag Texas Rally for Live. So hashtag Texas Rally for Live. Let's say that together. Hashtag Texas Rally for Live. Let's show the state of Texas and the entire world how many have gathered here today to stand for life. If you are here today,
and you are 46 years or younger, would you raise your hand? Congratulations to those of you who were born after 1973. You are the survivors of legal abortion. You are why we march. We march and rally and work and pray as well though for the over 60 million unborn children who've lost their lives in the wake of legalized abortion in the United States. And we walk alongside those and love those who are wounded by their own abortion experiences. As we pause today to consider the weight of the losses and the grief,